Welcome everybody, I'm Michael Coburn, the Product Manager for PMM, and I wanted to show you some quick new additions we've made to the product. Today we're announcing our 1.3 release, and two of the most important features include query analytics for MongoDB, and also a new dashboard to build on our MyRox work that we've integrated into Percona Server 5.7. The first component you can see up here, this is a, a, not a live demo, this is me recording it last night because I was nervous about doing it live. Um, but what we're walking through right here is the new Query Analytics platform. This gives you insight just like you're used to seeing from MySQL, but you now get this with MongoDB. You can see some of the most important factors in terms of slow queries, where, all the, where are the bottlenecks. You can review uh, the rankings of queries where they're spending time within MongoDB. You can see the latency and counts and in this case, we're starting to zero in a little bit on some of the, the factors, such as the, uh, the, the fingerprint of it. And in just a moment, you'll be able to see some of the explain that we're capturing out of MongoDB. This gives you insight into some of the statistics that are driven, that you can make better and more intelligent decisions on how you want to tune a particular MongoDB query. So we're really excited about this opportunity. This means that we're both increasing our scope beyond just MySQL, we're, we're embracing the open source community and making sure that, that we're, we're covering both of these, uh, these important database technologies. Okay, and so, can I jump to the next one? There we go. And part two, we've got uh, some exciting new work we've done with MyRox. This is our work to help you visualize some of the most key uh, components of, of the operations of the database storage engine. MyRox is based on Facebook's work to take their embedded RoxDB database storage engine and make it part of MySQL. So in September, September 6th, we released 5.7.19 for Percona Server. Um, it's straightforward. It's not turned on by default to enable the engine, but uh, you just run a PS admin command and then Percona Server works with MyRox. This here is showing some of the, um, the key graphs that we've pulled together that's available today that you can leverage in Percona uh, Monitoring and Management version 1.3. And I wanted to leave you with some components, uh, some important talks that you can see. We've got no less than seven talks driven both by Perconians and members of the community. We've got some Pythian support and some of our actual customers are doing some, some conversations on it. Um, so I do encourage you to vis visit those seven talks. I also wanted to say that in the 1.3 release, we're releasing no more than 15 new features or improvements. And we've also fixed seven important bugs in the product. You're gonna see us continue iterating on a very core focus of improving the existing technology before we increase the scope dramatically. What that means is we wanna put some polish on this product. We wanna make it very robust, address a lot of the concerns that people have broached it to me already, uh, or maybe later in the conference, I'm happy to hear any concerns you have or any, any areas of improvement that you see. So look for me, I'm Michael Coburn, and I thank you for your time.